Detroit is a very industrial city, but before the manufacturing plants, we were heavily involved in urban beekeeping. You like bees? Yes, we love bees. Here at Detroit Highs, what we do is we transform these once blighted vacant lots into urban bee farms. Detroit has over 75,000 vacant lots. But one great thing about the vacant lots is that they're overgrown with so many different types of wildflowers. These vacant lands are also increasing native bee populations. I know most people think that with apiaries, they're far off in the rural country parts of Michigan. And I say, hey, let's bring this to the city. Let's make it more accessible to everybody and educate all the children in the area. Here in the East Warren community, having a bee farm now brings life back into the community. It's a low cost sustainable project and it gives back to our environment. So today we had our second annual honey tasting event here at East Warren. We love educating children about apiology and the basics of beekeeping. A lot of children that we do have here have never even seen a honeycomb before or they didn't even know that honeybees made honeycomb. It's great to have these events for them to taste the local honey, learn how honeybees make honey, and learn why honeybees are so important to our environment. My favorite part about bees is Dr. Queen Bee lays 2,000 eggs in one day. I know how she does it. Without bees, we lose one third of our food population. So that was jaw dropping. We have to take care of the bees and protect them. It takes a lot of work and a lot of dedication <laughs> to transforming a vacant lot into a bee farm. What I'm most proud of with Detroit Hives is having people come here and be able to put on a beekeeping suit, go inside the hive, see how bees are contributing to the world. We're on a mission to create a more sustainable city. Detroit is the place to be. Work hard, stay bumble. My favorite part about bees. <laughs>